animals do not communicate the same way like human do. But it is just necessary for the animal to survive. Communication helps animals to do things like attract mates, warned of predators, mark their territory, and identify themselves to other animals. There are four types of communication, visual, auditory, tactile, and chemical. Let's start with visual communication. Two types of visual communication. First one, communication is the color and shape of the animal itself. It is called the badge. Next, it also describes the things that the animal does to communicate including behavior that is called display. Look at the deep sea jellyfish here for example. It communicates by giving a stunning display of colors. The Australian frill neck lizard is another example. When it's frightened, it opens its mouth and unfolds its frill. And this makes the lizard look clutch to its predator. Auditory communication refers to hearing that describes the sound that the animal uses to talk to each other. The sound is good because it can travel over long distances, whether it be day or night. Its adaptable signal where it can change the volume of the sound depends on condition. Tactile means to touch. Communicating using touch is used in many different ways. This mother cat nozzles the kitten to comfort them. All these two male deers lock horns and fight to show which is dominant. Animals can communicate chemically through scent and taste. The scents can remain around long after the animal has left and moved on. Insects like these ants that live in large groups leave different types of smells for different messages. Whether it can lead them to a food source or asking for help.